these two days. Because we are going to talk about loving God with our soul. If you look at everything about loving God with our whole being, loving God with all our heart, loving God with all our soul, loving God with all our mind. These three things are intertwined. Their heart feeds into the mind and the mind feeds into the soul. So neglecting the one will be detrimental to our work with God. It is very important that we look at loving God with our whole being. We are loving God with our whole being when we love God with all our heart, with all our mind, and with all our soul. God does not want us to have one leg there and the, the one foot there and the other one there. He want the whole person. And we spoke about the soul last week. That Adam was not Adam before the breath of God entered his dead body, which is just a frame. Uri Adam muya. So the soul is very important. That is the soul where the spirit sits. The dwelling place of the spirit is the soul. No one can give anyone a soul except God himself. And this soul is going to live one day. The soul will The soul will live. And it will go back to the giver. The and the Bible says, when that time comes, there will be a time that this soul has to stand before the judgment throne. And give account for everything that it has done. While it was still in this body. Which implies that we are, this soul is not just here for sweet nothing. We are here because God purposed it for reason. And the reason why God created us differently from any all other creation it's it, it because God wanted some something different that where his breath can live in hallelujah amen so that this image that he has can be deposited and 
can this can have a dwelling place this image hoyu muya une mudziwa wava wa mudzimu chifanyiso chone ko cha mudzimu chive na haya kana tumba yo dzura kacho so we are created zvino nena vone rosikwa as beings that are carrier of the image of god sa zvibumbi wazo hwala ho chifanyiso cha mudzimu the intention or the will of god in creating us zvino chipikwa cha mudzimu vachirisika it was that we will carry his image nduri nena vone ri hwale chifanyiso cha mudzimu kavari amen hallelujah so sometimes we forget chimwe chipinga ri hangwa and we carry ourselves radhi hwala ri ne ba rari ya dikona and when we carry ourselves musi radhi hwala we don't we, we do not heal the land that is so sick ribarelwa na upodza heli shango la shilo hotapala honga malwanza we are unable to change situations ribarelo shandukisa nyimele it is only the image of god zvino ndi chifanyiso cha mudzimu pedzi that can change everything chine cha kono shandukisa zvoto hallelujah amen last week i said soul Zvino vega vega opera hoambi hori muya. I encompasses three things. Ndi zvitu zviraro. Mind, muhumbulo, which I spoke about last week. Une hoambi wana vega opera ho. Emotions, vuzwipi, that I spoke I, I I I delved into last week in full. Na hezo roto dzura kha zvo chote sonda yo opera ho. I want to believe that you really Saved God, loved God with your emotions the whole of last week. Zino ria fulu pera or ribone bo shumera muzi munga sfizwa bo zo tebege pera. Any emotion that comes to you. Zino zi fizine zo daka bone. That will separate you from the love of God. Zine zo linga zo ba pande kanya na rufuno ro muzi. It is not God's intended emotions that you should express them like that. Asichipikwa kwaye cha mudzimu uri bone hezo zvifiba zvianda dzenga u heyo ndira To an extent that we will the will of God will be sidelined Aba to di mudzimu zvishika hune rufuno rwa mudzimu ratudzera tungo So in whatever we go through in our lives Zvino kazvo zvo zvine rapira kazvo machironi ya shunde na bone Even through those emotions that we go through as human beings Naka zvipfi zvothe sabatu banama Let God increase and we decrease Kari tende ya hule rine ritukufana To a point where even when we are crying we are grieving and all those kind of things Uri namusi richikolira ri maliro ni mbiru dza zvidzotungufana We go there with eyes with 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 all with tears and mucus and everything mixed together uh, uh, and say you are lord and you remain god in this situation ori na homito dzina maduta zvisi chakono pambanywa zvichikwerera zvote zvichi rota rikono ri hapa ka ori ndiwe mudzina la achira badizura ba mudzimu na musizoto rali he remains god even if auna chine cha do replace abone kana cha jia kudzuro havo kana khurunoni yavo there is nothing that will replace god nor take his throne we said last week we are not going to allow any emotion to 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 to, to dethrone god and and throne our emotions aringa tendi na chiti ichi chijia zwipfi zvashu zvave iwantha ntaka khurunoni mudzimu wa vhisi wantha khurunoni yawo hallelujah amen today we are going to talk about the last thing uh, in in the soul zvino namusiri kwamba nga cheo pedzera nga amuya it is called will zvino hechi ndi lufuno so the soul is made out of mind emotions and will will ndi lufuno lwavo hey chivenda chi shaya my piman yeah this language of ours don't the words are similar ndiri zvibotanga zvino kwamba nga love mara kwamba nga lufuno lwavo basungo that basungo that zvino kwamba nga lufuno lwavo nyito dzavo yes because even arara ndi desire desire ndi rutambo so it's is yeah yeah it's rufuno rufuno you will so the soul has got a will zvino muya wavo una lufuno lwavo Zvino rufuno rwa mutu ndi mini 
I've taken a few definitions. definitions that I, I took from the different uh, uh, definitions from the different uh, uh, scholars, different uh, dictionaries, and whatever. So this is the what how they describe will. But a will is a firm desire. Or determination. determination. A firm your will is your firm desire. To make something happen. By using your thoughts. You push your thoughts and tell your thoughts. I am going to study uh, medicine. I don't care that my mathematics was not right. I'm going to start with mathematics 101. I will do whatever bridging is required for me to see myself qualifying as a doctor. I will do whatever Determination to make something happen. Hallelujah. Amen. So if your soul has got that, and God is saying, Love me with all your soul. In other words, we can translate it. Loving God with all our will implies that I love God. I have this firm desire. I have this determination to make something happen. To see myself living a holy life in this life here on earth. To see myself entering heaven. That is the determination. And no one can come and pump and do whatever in your will. It is you who must have that determination. Then someone says the, the will is the capability of conscious choice to choose and decision and intention now the imisera. The will is not something that they say is capability. Duri ufindi bukoni, but you cannot. You know there are people who have said uh, they lack will. Yeah, una batu bane abata mu vereran. They lack that will. Duri mutu ane hata michi tu. Dobo na chuska panda. So whatever. Dobo na panda. Whenever they are not driven, but they will drive that God has created inside of you. But the will that God has created inside of you, inside of your your, your soul, it can be capable of making conscious choices making conscious decisions and conscious intentions that is the will the third definition is the will is a fixed and persistent intent or purpose that purpose and that intent is fixed. 
And you become persistent in getting that purpose. There are people who receive Jesus as their Lord. But because they lack intent, they don't have the will to walk this day. They are not persistent when they face difficult or challenges in their Another lives. Another one says, the will is determination or the power and capability of making a reasoned choice. It's a decision or control of controlling one's action. When I say these things are connected, remember one of the things that, that is in the soul is the mind. And we spoke about the mind to say whatever we do, whatever we think, whatever we watch it have got impact in our minds. And when some of the things that we ingest Control can alter our mind the way we think. So if the will wants to do something and the mind is not in control it means that that person who has got a will has got a will but they cannot take a control of their actions. Imagine a drunkard, even though they like to, 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 to pray when they are drunk. Yeah. Uh, do you think they are praying in the spirit or is the alcohol speaking in them? Reminding them that they should go back so to church. So they, they, they would desire and the will might be there. But there's nothing that controls the actions of that person. And Last definition. A will is a d to determine or to decide in the mind. That something shall be done. Something shall be done. How many things have you done and said this has to be done like this way? But whether you like it or not, here we are going to do it this way. That is the will. It implies that the, the, it is the, the will is the power to carry the purpose into effect. If I sum this up, I would say a will is a desire determination capability will is an intent will is the power will is the decision to do what to make something happen so your will is your desire to make something happen to make that which is in your thoughts 
come through your capability to carry the purpose into effect the will is the power to make conscious decisions the will is the power or the 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 the, the, the the desire to control your action. Yes. Because you have got control. Your will must be stronger than your action. Hallelujah. Amen. Biblical definition says that will includes the ability to make meaningful moral choices. Those excuses like the devil made me do it. Where is your will? Because we are created with the ability to discern right from wrong. And be, that is what the soul will be accountable for one day before God. So with, with this definition, it implies that the will is not something that you just bumped on. This will is not, it's not just a wishful thinking. A will is not a dream. Because a dream, you can dream, but nothing happens. One miller on the minji, but one lor rabota kara kana bo baisara kana bo la zaitana. Baso kolor rababe tuwa butinga man. Marabati vuaba wana ba nevalewe tera on. Rather, a will Zinorufu, no. is something that comes from within. And the will Zinorufu, no. is a drive. A will Rufu, no. is an engine that converts power into motion. People who have got so many dreams and many thoughts and ideas but do not have will they are like a car that is so beautiful and brand new but doesn't have an engine but on a current time so i refer many and go on as i to a one your journey so as what i have been to a marais and engine it is not going to go anywhere so it, the engine is the will inside of us. Hallelujah. Amen. God has created us. And his will has made it open and known to us. So that we can all understand what the will of God is when he created us. So to know that will of God, we must align our will to that of God. Then uh, when our will is connected or aligned to that of God, we'll have the same desire that God has for us. Hallelujah. Amen. So when we want that to be connected, we take our own will and our desire we lay them out before the Lord and we, and we allowed God's will and desire to swallow ours when something is swallowed we won't see even a tail because it's swallowed 
When our will and our desire is swallowed by that of God, there will not be an inkling sight of, of that which belongs to us. Hallelujah. Amen. So loving God with all with 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 our will is doing what God created us for. What did God create you for? Bona bo sikerwa minia. Ba na pinduro. What did God create you for? Mutimu ba sikerwa minia ba songo tenda toi chirema. Hallelujah. Amen. God has created us to do. I want to talk about two things that God created us to do today. Rito ambanga zitu zibiri. These two things are the will of God. God created us to do His will. What is the will of God? That which Jesus taught us in Matthew chapter 6. And in his model prayer when he said Your will be done on earth that is is in heaven What Jesus was saying is that What is happening here on earth In terms of your will Let it be the mirror image of what is happening in heaven And the will of God is not going to happen with the fish and the goats and whatever It's going to happen where this image is God created us with his image so that we can represent that so that we can put into effect that will that is in heaven. That will of God in heaven must, must happen in us and through us. Hallelujah. Amen. The will of God refers to what is pleasing and agreeable to God. How many times do we do our own things that are not agreeable to God? When we feel Christianity is a little tough, tougher than I thought, we take our own ways. And you say, at least God, God will understand I'm trying to push this thing. I'm a human being made of clay. God is not even requiring you to use your energy, your power, your ability. No one is able to do that. We depend in the power of God. When we accept Jesus as our Lord, when we submit our will and desires to God, we get that power, we get empowered to live according to the desire and will of God. The will, the will of God is everything that God desires. That, that which he desires to happen in heaven, on earth, that is happening in heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. So when we align our will to that of God, we position ourselves to the point of receiving God's blessings. So it's like this. God's will is in heaven. And here on earth, there are people who have laid down their will and desire for God God has to empower them to carry that 
this will that is happening in heaven to them so that it can happen through them. Uri mudzimu ako na uita rufuno na we nga kamu ya muketu wa wakasu za kuhiti ya taduru zuite kabatu uri nga kabu rufuno na mzimu uverele panu shangu. Hallelujah. Amen. Then we can we can quote this verse. Zino ndi hune rakono jia haya mangwaro ra buda richi. In context. Richi ya verse saa. Psalm 37 verse 4. Pizare ma 37 4. Delight yourself in the Lord. Takara nika na pembera ni murenan. And he will give you the desires of your heart. Nga uri udoni neya zine mbilu zabe ini zata ama. Ve wenu kukusu kumburu ndi desire ngwe na ingwe ni muzima apa. Ah, bwana ba bwana ngandi nye mure ingwe na ingwe kana every desire that you have or rutamu rwa bwana na rungwe na bwana ro. God will will not fulfill the desires that are selfish selfish. Muzima apa ngwe vere zisi rutamu rwa bwana na rungwe na bwana bwana ba bwana ro. God will not fulfill the desires that are harmful to us. Muzimu banga zitende luta moru waboru nero wabavai saruchi verera kabon. We cannot expect God to give us something that is contrary to his word. Zino basunga umbera muzimu bogi zila nya umpe. Nga ore muzimu wabanya guba wabura yoru wane wabe addict. Zinezo wabavai isa muzimu banga sikono wabapao zoni. Habana zo muzimu. These people will not ask for nyaupe. They will ask for money. Record of what sumbo? They will ask for money. Oh, bo nechi porofito keshi. Goro ba funa sa chere. Deba to umbera chere. Dendem zimu atu. Ah ba apa. Kere kene bangas chata. No banga one. And and also to go and buy whatever that that are harmful to you. But they are renga na zono ba buy sa ba chimbra na ba no ba buy sa no buy sa mashaka abo na mitaya. So God will never grant those desires. Zino, God never does zimiwa. Zuchu kwe toro zuba buye zenga ori abatu lugero stangane. God will never fulfill the desires that will actually not move us closer to Him. Zino, mutsimu abanga ripi zuchu zina zingar sende ziti ni naabu. Any desire that do not lead to peace and joy and other fruit of the spirit. Zino karaba na rutam. Rune aruba sende tini na michelo ya mu ya moketo kana muzimu kabato angwa. Because those things that we are asking for, if they don't draw us closer to bearing this fruit, gaurikala lusar sende tini no ri ano hey michelo. They are moving us even far from God. Shuto aju korib tata chote bo hone ni muzimu. To a point where we are not fruitful. fruitful. God knows that these kind of things are going to pluck out every, even those little that are left until we are fruitless. Hallelujah. Amen. We must have our will and desire aligned to that of God. Anything that decreases us Anything that moves us from God Anything that does not yield the fruit of the spirit Is not of God It's not his will It's not his desire for us Hallelujah Amen it is when the delight, when we delight in the Lord, and we allow Him to shape our minds and our hearts, that our those hearts and and and, and mind will be molded to His His desire and His will. Then He will give us the desires of our heart. Because our desires and our will are aligned with that of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So sometimes we focus too much on on our desire instead of focusing in God. Zino chipinga chichita daluando rinet focus rinto ofombe karuta moro ashuradi charuwa mzim. Child of God. Bafunwa mrena. Delight. Yourself in the Lord. So first thing first. We delight in the Lord. And in response. 
God give us the desires of our hearts. Because when we delight in him, we, we, we love, we delight in his will, we delight in his desires for our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh God has created us to do his will. The will of God must be seen in and through us here on And that will is not circumstantial. It is not conditional. As It's not a, it is not it is not uh, 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 affected by economic conditions or Asma political uh, atmosphere or platforms or, or whatever you call them. God wants to see his will happening here on earth. In us and through us. In whatever circumstances that we find ourselves. Under whatever government we find ourselves. Let the will of God be seen in us. Let that which God desires for us his children be seen. God does not want to see seasonal Christians. Hallelujah. Amen. The second thing that is the will of God for us that God has created us for. We are created for good works to walk in them. This good works is not for us to go and look at them. And just continue. Ah, God has got good works really. Uh, can you see the wonderful works of God? We see these good works. And the Bible says we must walk in them. Hallelujah. We don't, we don't just go to any well and drink water and that's it. We walk in those good works. We are created to walk in good works. Created for good works. <laughs> Cover the Look at yourself. Let's look at ourselves. Are these, are these the good works that God created me for? Ask yourself, introspect yourself. Are these the good works that God created me for? You know the answer. May God help us. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. ESV says, for we are his workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. Rossi kwa kaya so Christo. For good works. Uri ribe na mishumo ya buti. Whatever the devil is saying to you and ask you to do and subtly say you must do that, just say to him, I'm not created for that. Jesus ne mubi anga ba kuba ebe zorukaba ite zone ba ise panda nazo. Wone kwa mu pindu de ba nendo sikelo ita mishumo ya buti. Because you are created for good works in Christ Jesus. Na uri bone bo sikelo ita mishumo ya buti kaya so Christo. Which God prepared beforehand. Ine mu zimu bo irugi se la chipinga chana msichi satshik. That we should walk in them. Uri richimbere kayo. Hallelujah. Amen. In other words, the good works that we are created for is not something that God just say, hey, let me just go and take the package that sustains Marusha. As ma pungor mishumo ya budem zimbar sikera yone, ridoya rawara buto la mishumo yonosuta ne anenda fibo Marusha. God is not just you. 
in other words, you were not born by accident to God. Your parents may tell you that you, you were here by mistake and we never planned you. But you are never a mistake before God. This, oh, they were, when you, before you were conceived, there was already a package of good works. For you, for you. So you are never a mistake. Hallelujah. Amen. That we should walk in them. What does it mean to be God's workmanship? It means that we were created in a meticulous way. Are the cut off the cake any? No, yes. You even if you don't like your nose. You are very original. Original. Made by God. Meticulously. Wonderfully and fearfully. You are not a copy of anything. You are not a copy of anyone. You are a God's very first specification. And you are created according to God's specification. Originally created in God's image. Can we clap our hands for the Lord? There's no one here who has done or when we, we when we are baking and whatever, uh, the last dough because you cannot put it in a cutter. We just put like this and it's, it's shapeless. There's no one like that here. There's no one like that here. You are all according to God. Complete image of God. Hallelujah. Amen. That is where workmanship is coming from. What does it mean to be created for good works? It means that we are not here to do just any work. But to do the work of the one who created us. Hallelujah. Amen. We are not saved by good works. Hallelujah. Hey, yes. We are not saved by good works. 
Because as human beings, we do not have good works. We can never have good works. We are sinners by nature. It is only by the grace of God that we are saved. And we are saved for good works. And we are not saved saved by good works but we are saved for good works when we get saved we are transformed to be able to do good works for the Lord hallelujah Amen. God made the one who was innocent and made him to be seen so that we can be the righteousness of God in Christ. So that we can be saved for this good work. Christ died so that me and you, we can walk in good works. Yes, So anyone who does not recognize the, 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 the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ will never be able to walk in good works. In other words, no one who without receiving Christ will be able to do good works. Hallelujah. Amen. So look at what you are doing. You might I have met, I have heard people telling you are doing good works. And you look at your work and you look at everything you have done. Your boss, my good work, good work. Good work. Are you, doing, are you really doing the good works God, that God created you for? Hallelujah. Amen. What does it mean that which God prepared beforehand? It means that we are not an afterthought to God. God created us in his specification so that we are able to carry out the good works that is already created before we were born. God, God created us so that we can carry out his plans. So that we can carry his image in this So that we can have dominion over sin and everything. So that we can go and impact and influence this world in a positive way that God has intended. So that we can go and reproduce those of our kind. Hallelujah. Amen. No one comes as a surprise. So there's nothing that you we will, God will say, hey, I don't have work for you for now. I'll call you as soon as something becomes available. When you are born, the package is already waiting for you. When you give your life to Jesus, something is already waiting for you. Good works that God has created for you. To walk in them. Hallelujah. Amen. We must walk in good works. 
Uh, supporting scriptures that I want us to read. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4 and to 5. It says, for he chose us in him before the creation of the world. Hallelujah. Amen. He he chose us before you were created and you were already chosen. And what did he choose you for? What did he choose us for? He did not just choose us to come and you know, be beautiful, smile. It's, it's the, here the scripture says to be holy to be blameless in his sight and in love hallelujah amen that is what you are created for. Hallelujah. <laughs> to be holy. To be blameless. There are a lot of us who are blameless before, before you. But are we blameless before God? Are we blameless before God? Verse 5. He predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ. We have been adopted before we were born to say this one who is coming is going to be my daughter, is going to be my son. A brother or a sister to Jesus. And it says, in accordance with his pleasure and will. What is the will of God? That we walk in good works. That we do his will. So loving God with all with our will is letting the will of God be done. In and through us, it is done in heaven. There must not come a time when, when God wants his will to be done as it is happening in heaven, and we say, Hey, this is a bit too hard, Lord. Because we must let the will of God be done. Without limitation, without conditions. Loving God with all our soul, our will means doing good works and working in them. It's a present continuous tense. It's not something that you go when you are, feeling, you are in, a, in good mood. It is a continuous thing that we must do. If I said I, I got saved so many months ago, and now I am saying that love and the love and desire to do the will of God must be seen even today. Zino, karari miya shubo chitiwa, upirisa mingwa iner nebango rono ichira, even when you have gone through mountains, valleys, and sometimes you, you, 
you went on your knees and you felt, hey, I don't know Sometimes you go down on your knees and you are not even sure if you will be able to stand up again and God lifts you up again. The will of God must happen. Good works must be seen. And we must still continue to walk in them. Loving God with our will according to Ephesians chapter 4 verse 24 it means putting on the new self created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness putting on new self there's no one who is asked to come and put on something to, for you. There's no, unless you are talking to, and God here is not saying, Ask me to put it on for you. They put on. Put on. Do you want to walk in my likeness? Put on. So it will be a dream for you to walk in the likeness of God but you don't put on a new self. You are like that car that is so beautiful but without engine. According to Colossians chapter 3 verse 10 putting on the new self which is being renewed in knowledge and the image of its creator. The will of God is that we walk and live in his likeness and in his image. And that cannot happen unless we put on a new self. Hallelujah. Amen. In closing, we can love God with all our will. With all our soul. Now, by surrendering our mind our emotions and our will to God that is a soul that is loving God with all our soul God is wanting or pursuing a relationship where our response to him comes from a heart that longs and desire to serve him with our whole being. Where we have the desire to serve him with all our minds, with all our soul, with all our emotions. Colossians chapter 1 verse 9 to 10. And Paul said this to the church in Colossians. For this reason, since the day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you. We continue ask God to fill you with the knowledge of his will. Hallelujah. Amen. Can it be our prayer each one of us to have that desire that God fills us with the knowledge of his will. We must know the will 
of God. We cannot live that which we don't know. If we want to have a will that is aligned to the will of God, the soul that loves God, we must have knowledge of God's will through all the wisdom and understanding that spirit gives us. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 10. So that you may live a life worthy of the Lord. What is the life worthy of the Lord? So these things go like this. We, we have the knowledge of the will of God. Now that we know what God will is, we live a life that is worthy of the Lord. Because that life is aligned to the will of God and desire of God. So our life is worthy of the, uh, the, 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 of the Lord and we please him. You can read it to, to please, pleasing him in every way. If there are tick box in heaven, the Bible here is saying every tick box must be ticked. That this tick, 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 tick. They, they, must be, they must not be question mark and at least nearly, nearly there. When we know the will of God, the Bible is saying when we are filled with that, with the wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives. The Spirit enables us to to live that which is pleasing to God. But the Holy Spirit or the Spirit does not coexist or cohabit the mind that is filled with something that controls it. That means, that means that our minds must be set in heaven. My, our minds must be set on things above. So that they can connect to the, the spirit. So that the spirit can enable us to live that which is pleasing to God. And what is that that is pleasing to God? Bearing fruit in every good work. Secondly, growing in the knowledge of God. As long as we are still on this earth, we need to endeavor to bear fruit in every good work. Hallelujah. Amen. And we must endeavor to grow in the knowledge of God. May we continually ask God to fill us with the knowledge of His will. And when we we do this, we must also do it in action. Because the knowledge of God's will is not found in move. I want to 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 I it's not found in TikTok. But TikTok one Instagram. The will of God is found here. And I'm not discouraging you to read books. But the way you are created 
God can speak to you through his word straight. Hallelujah. Which is revelation to that particular person. Which might help you. But someone is talking about So if some don't look like sour pap and the veggies that you are you are familiar with. Feel it is irrelevant to your life. But, but the Bible is relevant to you in every know the will of God from the Bible. Let the books that you read, that spiritual books that you read, uh, be an addition or to open your eyes or understanding, but get something from the Bible. When we are filled with the knowledge of the will of God, we will be able to live the life that is worthy of the Lord. The life that is pleasing to him in every way. The life that bears fruit in every good work. Growing in the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us stand and pray. Loving God with all our soul is possible. Let us go and seek the will of God. And align our will and desires to that of God. So that we can be fruitful in every way. Yes, bless your name, Lord.